Alright, what up guys? I recently uh, put the Cyanogen Mod 7 on my Samsung Captivate. And I guess I'll just do like a little overview, a little review of what I like about it and what I don't. First off, what I like is that, it's, like you see, a whole new lock screen, all that. It's running uh, 2.3.4 gingerbread. I mean, it's cool so far, like, the menu's different, instead of a swipe side to side, it's an up and down. Um, I guess like every other video out there, I should show that it is in fact running 2.34. My screen's a little dirty. Now, one of the main things I don't like about it is that on Samsung they always had like a nice little cam uh, camera application that had all these different types of uh, effects and whatnot but here the camera application looks like that it's a little eh you know what I mean as compared to what I was used to but I guess it'll still do the trick Uh, messaging looks all different now. The one thing I learned that I had to do that I didn't know beforehand, so when it happened, it was just really confusing, was there was no Google app. So I had to flash that on to get the marketplace, to get Gmail. Um... One sad thing I had to do was I'm gonna have to restart restart all my games such as Angry Birds and whatnot. But that's whatever. I now can have the Amazon App Store, which was not originally available because AT and T blocked the uh, downloading of the third party applications that were not on the marketplace. I think AT and T probably still is the only uh, carrier to do that. So, now though, I can download all that, download really whatever I want, and do tethering for free, and use it as a mobile hotspot without having to pay for the uh, data charges. Well, I mean like the extra PDA plan and whatnot that AT&T offers. I don't know why, but for some reason it seems like the GPS is working better than it did on the stock firmware that could have something to do with anything there's a new theme chooser the one thing that mainly confused me though is I backed up my contacts originally to the SD card the external one you know that you plug in and when I tried restoring it it wasn't finding it so what I had to do was plug it in the computer and then retransfer it to the internal SD card so it would find that. I don't know why that error is happening, but if anyone has a fix or something that they can tell me why, that would help. Aside from that, overall I do like it better. It's running quicker. I'm mad I said running like that, but um, it's running quicker my battery life seems to be lasting longer there's a lot of cool little kinks and junk on here that we're not on the stock firmware the only main thing I don't like aside from the camera is that on the stock firmware if you held down the home button You'd get this, but you'd also have an option to get a task manager that I guess Samsung put proprietarily in there. Which isn't there, so I had to go back to Advanced Task Killer. But that's really no big deal. Aside from that, another main thing I like is that if you rotate it now, the uh, desktop will go in landscape mode. And, you know, of course, no, not land portrait mode and landscape. I don't remember which one's which, whatever. Uh, also, 
on the marketplace one of my favorite games called Spider-Man where it's like you hop in platforms and get points for it can't find that anymore I don't know if Google took it off or whatnot but that's pretty much it that's what I have to say right now so any questions or whatever if you're thinking about doing this just uh leave I guess comments it only took about 15 minutes to flash cyanogen over the stock firmware so it's all good so yeah um, that's really all I have to say so leave your comments below and I'll be sure to answer them bye